dear students welcome back to my video lecture series this is the continuation of bender's right method i have chosen some other two more problems for your better understanding right come to the problem solve this differential equation partial differential equation particularly here uh, instead of uh, u we are having f so these uh, two are boundary conditions and uh, this will be initial condition and uh, particularly they have given x varies from 0 to 5 uh, if it is not there also we can identify with the help of this x is 0 here x is 5 easily we can identify and uh, it's uh, uh, taking the uh, in x direction h equal to 1 up to 5 seconds t equal to 5 they asked to find right <coughs> now take the differential equation we can find a value a equal to 1 and h equal to 1 then what about k formula if you are doing mistake to write the formula for k the entire problem will be wrong a h square by 2 it will be a value 1 h value 1 so it will be 1 by 2 is equal to 0.5 so t direction is 0.5 up to 5 seconds at t equal to 5 you have to find right that's it so now apply that formula we have to find the interior values of f given boundary condition and initial conditions in x direction h equal to 1 t direction k equal to 0.5 look at that x direction x varies from 0 to 0 to 5 and the difference is h equal to 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 similarly in t direction k value we found already 0.5 1 1.5 2 3.5 3 3.5 4 4.5 up to 5 seconds right what are the boundary conditions now 0 comma t x 0 it will be here f of 0 comma t equal to 0 and this boundary condition is f of 5 comma t equal to 0 all are 0 and this one will be f of x comma 0 equal to x square into 25 minus x square right now we will fill the boundary condition so this is the first boundary condition first uh, boundary condition uh, f value 0 at a t equal for all t and uh, x equal to 0 right similarly at x equal to 5 f value 0 this is this one and then this boundary condition give x equal to 0 0 the corner value should coincide as i told you already and x equal to 1 it will be 24 x equal to 2 if you are giving 84 <coughs> x equal to 3 1 and 4 x equal to 4 also that x equal to 5 what will get 25 minus 25 it will be 0 coincide that's it now we have to uh, apply bender smith concept this value plus this value divided by 2 what you will get 42 this plus this divided by 2. similarly this plus this by 2 what will be 84 look at that this plus this and then this plus this divided by 2 and then this plus this divided by 2 clear so similarly proceed for other steps this plus this divided by 2 and then this plus this divided by 2 and then this plus this divided by 2 this plus 0 divided by 2 similarly proceed for other values also you can find the interior values of the given function this is the way you have to proceed here this plus this divided by 2 and then this plus this divided by 2 proceed in the similar way for the rest of the interior values also now look at that so this value plus this value by 2 it is 8.5 again this value plus this value divided by 2 this value plus this value divided by 2 this plus this divided by 2 clear right that's it guys this is the way we have to solve the poison equation sorry not poison the parabolic equation parabolic equation particularly one dimensional heat equation 
right using bender smith method so average of the two values clear right now come to one more different problem solve u double x equal to ut it is heat equation only given u of 0 comma t equal to 0 u of 4 comma t equal to 0 u of x comma 0 equivalent to x into 4 minus x with the h equal to k equal to 1 find up to t equal to 5 the important thing is in all the problem they will give h alone h value alone they will give if they are giving k also together both of the value are there you should check the value of lambda whether if it is lying 0 less than lambda less than or equal to 1 by 2 only vendor smith method will converge we can get the solution if lambda equal to 1 it won't uh, get the solution but you can solve it so you have to check the value of lambda now if both are given only you have to do that any one that is not any one h value always they will give the value of h if they are giving value of h find the value of k using a h square by 2 and you can proceed suppose if they are giving both uh, you should check for that value because if you are giving uh, k equal to a h square by 2 h equal to 1 if you are giving it will be 0 0.5 but what they have given k equal to 1 so it, it won't satisfy that uh, formula average of the two values formula we can't be able to use so what you have to do we have to use this explicit formula only clear this explicit formula you no need to memory the diagrammatic representation already i have given would you remember this one only if lambda equal to 1 this one only we are going to apply here lambda equal to 1 case what will be if you want to find the value of d a plus c minus b value so you have to add here you have to subtract this a plus c minus b clear right now come to that one so we have to uh, find the value of lambda lambda equivalent to k by a h square so k value they have given and a value we found from the given differential equation partial differential equation and uh, h value is 1 they have given so lambda equal to 1 we are getting um, what about bender smith average uh, formula it will be applicable only for lambda 0 less than lambda less than or equal to 1 by 2 for lambda equal to 1 by 2 case only we have that average of the two point formula so if your lambda equal to 1 if it is there we have to apply this formula only clear right maximum they won't ask such kind of problems suppose if they are asking be ready to solve that's why i am giving uh, such kind of problems also right so graphical differentiation and as i told you already if you want to find b value it is equal to value of a plus value of c this this one you have to minus minus value of b left to plus right minus middle that's it so now come to the problem initial condition boundary condition everything are there in h direction it is one uh, in k direction also it is one x vary from where to where 0 to 4 x vary from 0 to 4 and uh, up to 5 seconds they have to find k equal to 1 also so 0 1 2 3 4 5 <coughs> clear right so now uh, we fill the fill the x axis as well as t axis right now we have to complete the boundary conditions so what is a, a 0 comma t x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 this is what x equal to 0 line this entire thing this fully at x equal to 0 u value is 0 so 0 0 0 0 0 0 this is what we have to do that's it what is the next boundary condition u of 4 comma t equal to 0 at x equal to 4 the u value at x equal to 4 u value 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so you have to fill that too what is the third boundary condition this will be at uh, 
t equal to 0. Which line is t equal to 0? This entire line. This line is t equal to 0. So, u of x comma 0 equivalent to x enter 4 minus x. Give values now. Give x equal to 0. 0 into everything will be 0. The corner value should coincide as I told you already. x equal to 1. It will be 3. x equal to 2. It will be 4. x equal to 3. It will be 3. x equal to 4. It will be 0. The corner value should coincide. Right. Now, how to solve? If it is normal Bundesmith, we can take average of that too. It is not like that. Because lambda equal to 1, we obtain. So, for that, what you have to do? This, we have to add this and this minus of the middle value. <coughs> Clear? Right. Come to the point. Uh, so, we have to find this. So, this plus this minus of this. So, 0 plus 4 minus 3. What will be? 4 minus 3 values 1. Next, uh, we have to find this value. This plus 3, 3 plus 3 minus which value? P plus 3, 6 minus 4, it is 2. Next row. This, I have to add 4 plus 0 minus 3. It will be 1. Next also, 0 plus 2 minus 1. 0 plus 2 minus 1 is 1. Next row. similarly, add this 1 plus 1. Minus 2. <coughs> Fine. Next, 2 plus 0 minus 1. It is 1. Similarly, fill the rest of the position values also. For example, if you want to do this, 0 plus minus 4 minus 3. 0 plus 4 plus 4 means what I have there minus 4 only 0 minus 4 is there minus 3 it will be minus 7 right next so for the next position 3 plus 3 minus 4 3 plus 3 minus 4 minus of minus 4 will be plus 4 will, it will be 3 plus 3 plus 4 equal to 10 it's better to do with in your calculator. Better to insert like that. 3 plus 3 uh, minus of then a value minus 4. It will give the answer directly. Then you don't do manually. Uh, you will do some mistakes. Right. Similarly, for this value, this plus this minus this. So minus 4 plus 0 minus 3 is equal to minus 7. That's it, guys. So if they are giving uh, k value and h value, by that time you should think about lambda. You should find it. If lambda equal to 1, if you are getting, then what will be the formula? If you want to find this, this value you have to add, this value you have to add, the middle value you have to subtract. That's it.